The settings in the Advanced Options tab contain settings that typically do not need to be adjusted. Settings include overriding the simulation bandwidth, which controls the bandwidth used to determine the default wavelength range used for material fitting, the range over which frequency domain monitors record data, and mesh generation when using the auto non-uniform or custom non-uniform mesh type. Overriding the simulation bandwidth to include a larger range than the source bandwidth can be done if simulating nonlinear materials. For example, for a second harmonic generation, where there will be light generated outside of the source wavelength range. You can also override the bandwidth used just for mesh generation. This is useful if you're performing a parameter sweep where you're sweeping the source wavelength, and you want the mesh to remain constant for each simulation in the sweep. Simulation auto shutoff options can also be set in the Advanced Options tab. By default, the simulation will automatically end once the auto shutoff level either falls below 1E-5 or rises above 1E5. The auto shutoff level gives a measure of the fraction of energy remaining in the simulation region compared to the energy injected. If the energy falls below the minimum threshold, this indicates that the fields have fully decayed, so there's no reason to continue running the simulation and ending the simulation at this point reduces the simulation time. If the energy rises above the maximum value, then this indicates that there could be some numerical instability which is causing the field amplitudes to diverge towards infinity. In this case, the simulation will terminate and a warning message will be displayed to let the user know that the simulation diverged. This message also includes a link to instructions for modifying the simulation settings in order to fix the divergence. It's possible to adjust the minimum and maximum threshold values for the auto shutoff to be triggered, or turn off the auto shutoff so that the simulation will run for the maximum simulation time regardless of the auto shutoff level. The auto shutoff will also be discussed further in the result analysis section later on in this course. For detailed definitions of the settings in the Advanced Options tab, refer to the Knowledge Base page linked below.